I'm looking forward to showing you this boat. She's called Lizanne. She's a 60 foot semi trad built in 2008 by Alexander Boat Builders and fitted out by Nigel Moore. And she's in really, really lovely condition. Over the back half of last year, she had a full repaint in August 2023 by Dave Bishop. She was blacked at the same time, but to be honest, the paint and the blacking looks like it was done more recently than that. A pram and the cratch cover was new towards the back end of the year. Really nice semi trad deck there. Four foot seven long the cockpit. Very good condition. Pram hood, that's only about uh, three or four years old. You just see the solar panels on the roof. 300 watts, they were brand new last year. Sorry, I had to duck under the straps for the crane there. Side hatch there. That's a Max View internet antenna on the top. That was new in November last year. Nice big window, so she's a nice light boat, fitted out in ash. Two 13 kilo gas bottles in the forward locker there. That storm cover over the cratch board does come off. Clear cratch board. And this pram hood, as I say, was new. It's actually got blackout or clear panels on the side, so you've got a choice of both. The cratch board does hinge back, so you can have access to the front if you need, or just want some air. Storage locker here. Water tanks under my feet, it's stainless steel, 570 litres. Handrails there on the sides of the boat, and then we go. Much of the boat is carpeted, the saloon itself is 10 feet long. Two really comfy armchairs in here with footstools, room for a sofa bed if you prefer. That ladder does chain onto the roof, but we haven't we've left it in for now. The stove is a Stovex Brunel, 4 kilowatt solid fuel stove. The storage under the step as you come in here, that's a 22 inch Hitachi TV DVD combo. Cupboard above the telly, cupboard below. Four radiators on board, they're heated by an Eberspacher hydronic diesel fired central heating system. And that's the view down the saloon. Lovely room. Head height on the boat, 6 foot 4. All the lights are LED. And next is the dinette area. The storage under these bench seats does convert into a spare double berth. Dinette six foot three and the galley's eight foot five. Vinyl on the floor in here and the worktops are a melamine. Stainless steel sink with a drainer next to it. Really decent sized cupboards under the sink. They go all the way back to the bulkhead there. The cooker itself is a stove, 500 DIT, four burner gas hob, oven and grill, lights above, under this cupboard. There's a side hatch on the starboard side here. Shelves, more work surface, and it's a 12 volt inlander fridge with an ice box. Next to that, a drawer with a cupboard under. So everything you need in here. Plenty of room for storage, plenty of work surface. Really lovely galley. I love the boat, to be honest. There's a corridor down here that leads to the bathroom, and in here, I'm calling it a larder cupboard, but call it what you want, floor to ceiling. And rather cleverly, that door doubles up as a privacy door, I suppose, if you've got two couples on board sleeping. And the bathroom's next. It's a Lee San Headmaster Pump Out Loo. That was brand new in 2022. Cupboards above it. That's a plastic sink counter sunk over that cupboard. There's another radiator in here. And the shower cubicles here. I didn't mention actually, um, there's a spare Thetford Porter Potty Loo on board. It's never been used, brand new. That's under the dinette, that's just for emergencies. In case something goes wrong with a pump out or you can't get to a pump out station. And then a bedroom. Very good size, 12 foot 9 inches long. The bed itself is 6 foot 3 long, 4 feet wide, but it does extend to 4 feet 8 inches wide. With room to walk down the side, actually. Loads of cupboards over the bed here. A couple of reading lights. And there's so much storage at the foot of the bed. The shelves on the left of the screen you can see under the gunnels. There's a cupboard under here. And 
and in here. Now this cupboard down here at the back of it is power and plumbing for a washing machine. Current owners just didn't really have a need for it but it's all geared up ready to put one in. The hot water tanks under here. Hot water is heated by the way by the Eberspacher diesel uh, central heating system. An immersion heater. Good size double wardrobe. Or the engine heats the water as well. It's a 50 litre calorifier, so that's good size. The electrics are in here. That's a Victron 1600 watt inverted charger. Isolation switches above that. And here's quite a useful storage area for tall things or hanging wet coats. And out onto the in, into the semi trad cockpit. Really good head height in here. The front panel, the windscreen, if you like, of the pram hood zips up. So if it's raining and you're motoring with the pram hood up, you've got visibility. Storage locker on the left there. And then here's the engine. It's a Beta 43 with a hospital silencer. This engine bay was all repainted in 2023. You can see the battery there on the right. Four AGMs, 125 amp hours and one starter. They were all brand new in November 2023. It does have a digital battery monitor. There's a landline hookup and a cable on board. The alternators, there's a 175 amp alternator and 170. The engine was serviced in December 2023. And I didn't mention the uh, solar controls, Bluetooth enabled. The diesel tank was professionally cleaned in December 2023. And I can't remember if I mentioned the MaxView Rome X internet antenna. That was new in 2023 as well. So she's been so well looked after this boat, there's nothing to do on her. Shouldn't say that, it's like commentator's curse, isn't it? But anyway, she's been very, very well looked after. So there we go, for uh, further photographs, fully downloadable spec, and the price go to our website, www.rugbyboats.co.uk.